Hi everyone, and welcome to White Sky's Wisdom. This is a tarot card reading for the star sign of Libra for November 2019, and welcome all my new subscribers. All right, Libras, when I did your yearly for this year, the card for this month, November, was the world. Okay, inevitable completion is happening this month for you. You could also be thinking about world travel at the moment or world affairs. Uh, you could also be dealing with a fixed sign, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius or Scorpio. It is Scorpio season at the moment, so you could be dealing with those energies. Okay, but it could be inevitable completion uh, to do with one of those star signs as well. All right, Libra. So we'll just uh, have a look at uh, any other zodiac signs you might be dealing with or the energies around you. And then we'll get into the tarot. Okay, Libra. Advice for Libra, please. November 2019. Advice for Libra, please. 2019. Okay, that one. Sagittarius. This energy imbues uh, power, superior confidence and enthusiasm with faith, good fortune and authority. Yes, so the Sagittarius could be very much on your mind at the moment uh, or you are trying to embody this energy yourself or want this energy yourself of, su of superior confidence and enthusiasm uh, with faith, good fortune and authority. Okay, so we're also going to have a look at any planets that might be affecting you at this time. All the energy around you. <clears throat> Okay, advice for Libra, please. Advice for Libra. <laughs> Half the deck fell out. Advice for Libra, please. So I'm hoping you're all well. So if you'd like to like, subscribe, comment, and hit that bell button, it'd be gratefully appreciated. Thank you so much, Libra. Okay. What have we got? The sun, your immortal spirit, purpose, and destiny is involved. Okay, yes, yeah, could be very, feeling very uh, like a lot of light shining on you, or you're getting a lot of clarity at the moment. Uh, the sun, sort of with the tarot as well, is a Leo card, but um, you could be getting really enlightened as into your purpose and destiny at the moment. All right, and last but not least, before we get into the tarot here, we're just going to have a look at any house that might be affected, all the energies around you. Advice for Libra, please. Advice for Libra, please. Thank you. Okay, the third house, your potential to learn something and your local neighborhood. Okay, so you might be thinking about going back to study in some way, going to a local college or something like that. Okay, you could be feeling very enthusiastic about it. Uh, you're hoping it'll bring you good fortune and maybe uh, increase in your authority, maybe um, polishing up your skills here, okay? Uh, you believe that this is your destined purpose, okay? So we'll just have a look and see with the tarot what other energies are around you this month, okay? Advice for Libra, please. Advice for Libra, please. November 2019. Thank you. All right, just pop that up there. The Emperor. This could be you sitting on your throne wanting to be the ruler of your domain or also uh, you to be in charge of what you do for a work here. You could also be dealing with a very um, strong Aries at this time. But yeah, I sort of feel that you are want to be in charge of what happens in your world at this time. Uh, you've been through a long, hard fight to get there. Uh, that could be also you wanting to polish up your skills so you can take over more of a managerial role or uh, be acknowledged for um, your skills in some particular arena. 
Okay, we'll just flesh this out. Thank you. Okay, yes, once a lot of fire signs around you at the moment. Okay, so you're going to have to be very strong, but also use that uh, Libram balance when it comes to dealing with other individuals uh, this month. You're going to have to uh, go in very gently, okay, to tame the beast in others or tame the beast in yourself. Um, it's going to take balance that beautiful Libra and balance so make sure you've got those scales really balanced when particularly when you're dealing with uh, a fire sign or particularly Sag Sagittarius or Leo here okay it looks like you're going to be able to calm them down if they're having issues they're um they're a bit fiery this month it looks like you're going to be the uh, the voice of reason and, and the calming influence in their life okay yeah so another indication of the world here so you want the world in your palm of your hands or you're feeling like you're starting to get the world in the palm of your hands here you have uh, got a really good passionate idea here and you're um you're wanting to get this ball um in the court you want to get this this um, project going okay so you're looking out to see what's the best way of doing so and it looks like either education or further information here is needed before you'll be able to get this show on the road okay uh, you could have time at particularly at night here where you could be um, thinking about past hurts that really affected you um, uh, and or you're just wanting some time out from the fight okay you want to just rest and relax um, you don't want to be everything to everyone this month. You want to be looking after yourself. Okay, so as a as a Libra, and it can be easy to to make sure everybody else is looked after before yourself. Well, this month it's really important to look after yourself first. Okay. Uh, yeah, because uh, it looks like you've been able to get a lid on your emotions and or you're starting to really acknowledge your emotions as well at this time. Uh, you're got control over them as well but yeah it is good good time to actually use your emotions to your advantage okay uh, less in your head and more in your heart this month will really be of benefit to you uh, make sure the decisions that you're making this this month are coming from a empathet empathetic yep yeah, empathetic standpoint uh, rather than a more of a logical cold standpoint okay make sure that your um come into a best case scenario when it comes to other individuals particularly the fiery ones in your life from yeah a a standpoint where you acknowledge them um, and you see their side of things particularly when it comes to their emotions okay uh, you're not willing to you know, I'm sorry excuse me you're very willing to put in the hard work when it comes to this new idea you have uh, you've put the seeds in the ground and now you've been patiently waiting for the fruits of your labor to come through you still need to wait a little bit longer so you may not see the fruits of your labor in the month of November but certainly by putting those seeds in the ground and doing the hard work that is necessary you are going to see huge amount of bounty from this so if it's education certainly getting down and doing the work Work that's needed is going to end up with you with that uh, diploma or the, the um, whatever it be certificate or a, um, a title of some kind will be yours you just need to really get down this month and get into it and get that hard work um, hard work done okay uh, it's really good now is the time to move away from past issues past emotional issues that might have um, kept you stuck okay um, you need to if you're moving away from a relationship or something like that you need to do so slowly and steadily here not just sort of take up and leave uh, you need to acknowledge the things that you've learnt from that relationship as well okay um, and move into uh, your individual happiness okay so that's where you're heading you're heading towards happiness within yourself and you're willing to do the work that is required okay also at night time you might be be careful of escapism too uh, where you might be drinking or something heavily in the night time to get away from your emotions that um, might be weighing very heavily on, on you during the daylight hours okay it's really important to um, do everything in moderation this month yeah because inevitable transformation is here uh, whether you were the one that um, 
decided to have this transformation or something's happened in your external world to actually make this transformation happen the old way of doing things are over okay this could be affecting a family um, and children by this inevitable transformation but a new day is dawning on this situation okay and um when there becomes an end there is also an ultimate new beginning okay so um you might have been separated from the family or someone else has been separated from the family here but it looks like the new day is dawning it's 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 in the past definitely in the past uh, and it's time to move into this new new day all right uh yeah so it looks like you might be willing to put in the work when it comes to our relationship here you're waiting for this relationship to get better um maybe you've um, found that this relationship isn't getting any better at the moment um, so it is a good time to take some time out to take stock of exactly where you're at and what you want in life it's also indicated here that you might need to balance those beautiful scales of yours to balance the male and female sides of yourself and the universe is going to step in to make sure that you have the ability to do that so something's going to a inevitable end maybe in a work situation or and or relationship is going to have you checking back with yourself uh, checking in with yourself and um, you might decide that uh, one the relationship is not for you or two you're willing to 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 work on it but it needs to be absolutely equal give and take from both individuals here so uh, it's really important that that balance exists uh, for this relationship to move ahead uh, you could be seeking counseling to do so where both individuals are heard uh, both individuals voices are, um, are listened to by an authority that's outside of yourselves here and all this is uh, dealing with uh, definitely with a marriage but uh, also you're dealing with a Taurus here at this time um, yeah so it's um, really important that both people are on equal uh, footing at this stage okay uh, you could be going to a clergy you could be going um, to as I said maybe a psychologist or something like that to try and get um, a balance brought back into this relationship uh, because with the things that have been what what is think people are thinking about is leading to distance okay so both individuals seem to be coming from uh, d very different standpoints here two different people or maybe even there could even be a third person in the mix which is making things harder um you may have felt like you've had to defend yourself from two other individuals as well okay but it looks like you're looking back to the past and um, looking back and seeing how you could have done things better um, and if uh, there's no reconciliation in this relationship you're certainly going to have learnt a lot from it okay uh, there will be victory if you balance both sides of yourself and if both person people are equal in this relationship uh, you will um, be getting victorious if you're trying to figure out this relationship and or it's once again it's really important not to be too prideful at this time not to sort of say well I won over you and um, sort of rub in the other person's face and or someone else doing that to you that will be at the detriment of um, the relationship and um, potential relationships in the future okay so it's really important to make sure that you're not being um, too prideful that you were victorious over this situation okay there is two people here supporting you at this time uh, and willing to help you through this okay this could be your children uh, that are supporting you okay uh, yeah because be I think this month there are still going to be issues that are arise still issues between many people many people's opinions and beliefs on how things should be going in your home life in your work life that sort of thing it may start off as um, innocent banter but it may um, turn into something that's a, a, a little bit more um, serious here so just be careful of um, engaging with people that are being quite passionate and feisty those uh, fire signs uh, because yes it could end up in in quite a quite a um, 
feisty situation <clears throat> yeah so you're very much dealing that's at Sagittarius here very much dealing with the younger Sagittarius here this could be the child in the situation uh, but yes this uh, young Sagittarius here seems to uh, be growing up quite fast here um, and it looks like they have got uh, they're, they're heading in the right direction they are well cared for at this time they have uh, the right you know, they're just the, this whole situation is leaving them quite cared for, so there's no need to be worried about that individual. Okay, uh, yeah, Leo as well. The sun, the sun. Uh, so yes, you're getting clarity on this situation and what's the best way to go here. Once again, a child's involved. Maybe uh, a new child is on the horizon here for someone in the family or yourself. Uh, but it's also an indication that it's a really good uh, time to get out in the sun. I mean, the sun's all over this, the sun, there's a sun there, there's a sun there. Um, really important to get out in the sun and enjoy the sunlight while you can. Um, and also be a bit more childlike, enjoy life for its uh, simplicities at this time, which will help you get through this, okay? Uh, yeah, it's a Taurus here or a Capricorn. Um, this individual is missing this child or wants to be with this child or is with the child, okay? Um, but this individual, this Queen of Pentacles here is uh, looking after themselves quite well, okay? Uh, you will also get enlightenment when it comes to this younger fire sign, this um, potentially female um, earth sign here you're going to be enlightened and all these are the three individuals in your life at the moment okay the the leo the capricorn or taurus here and uh, sagittarius aries okay uh, i'll just see if there's any more advice here for you Yeah, so inevitable completion on the way things were. You want to be standing in your power. It's really important to take some time out for yourself to move away from the troubles of the past. Uh, and make sure that you're using strength, uh, diplomacy particularly, uh, balancing your scales. Make sure that uh, you are uh, calling on your emotions as well as your thought at this time. There is an inevitable transformation that is occurring, which is um, out of everybody's hands at the moment. There is a huge change. Uh, it is involving our relationship, potentially uh, a marriage here. Um, there could still be on the horizon some... Um, some things that are said or some passionate in, inter interrelations here that could go a little bit askew so just check out watch out for that you may feel like you end up by the end of the month victorious over that situation but also be careful of pride issues that you're not um being too prideful here uh this sagittarius or this younger fire sign here is well looked after and cared for there's no need to concern for that individual as well as this queen of pentacles she is also uh, getting on with look, focusing on her pentacles and looking after herself there. Uh, the sun is shining down, so clarity is yours this month. You'll get a lot of clarity, whereas in the past you may not have. And that's, um, even though Mercury's going retrograde here, I think the clarity will be coming through for you. Uh, there is a child on the horizon for people that are in that stage of life. Uh, it could even be grandchild as well. Uh, and or it's a good chance to really engage with your your child within and get out and enjoy the sun and play okay um, just be also very aware that um, you don't rush in in some way here and say something that could be at your detriment it will uh, catch you um, you need to be uh, coming from a more enlightened and a more adult perspective here okay it's um, to come in and just um, say things because they're on your mind uh, is not going to go well. Okay, so we're going to have a look at your abundance, Libra. Abundance for Libra, please. November 2019. Oops, sorry, hit the camera. <laughs> abundance. Abundance for Libra, please. November 2019. Thank you. Okay. It is safe for you to receive. 
The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. Yes, if you've been feeling like you haven't been receiving your dues, open your heart and your arms to receive. Be allowing of things to come to you. And by doing so, you will be a conduit for good to come to you and through you, okay, as it blesses the world. Now, open your heart to receive love, to receive finances, to receive help, uh, to receive education. Open your heart and arms to receive this month, Libra. Okay, and healing energies for you for the month of November. Advice for Libra, please. Advice for Libra, please. Advice for Libra, please. Okay. I think we've got three here. Four. <laughs> Meditation. Dear Archangel Raphael, please meditate with me and guide my mind and body to focus upon peace, health and wellness. Focus on that peace, health and wellness. Alternative medicine. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for guiding me to the ideal healing treatment modality and for giving me clear signs and messages to validate the best path for my well being yes if you're having trouble not getting the clarification you need it might be time to look for different sources to get some clarification when it comes to your health diet is important here thank you for guiding me to make positive eating and drinking choices and for reducing or eliminating my cravings for unhealthful substances yes indication here we could be um, indulging a little bit too much in alcohol or other substances here it's time to really care for yourself and your body this month okay and leave a stretch stressful situation behind dear archangel raphael thank you for giving me the courage and willingness to take good care of myself including surrounding myself with with healthy relationships and positive situations yes it looks like you'll be leaving stressful situation behind this month moving into a, a lot more balanced situation here where you're able to to look after yourself in the way you want and to start to really enjoy your life okay so we're also going to have a look at any love blocks that might be affecting you libra love box affecting libra please November 2019 so yes go inside start that meditation okay look for alternative ways to heal yourself um, diet's really important this month and um, yes it's time to leave the stress in the past <clears throat> all right oh once again hit the camera sorry about that all right love blocks getting enthusiastic with my shuffling <laughs> All right, surroundings. It's time to clean up around you. Commitment. A great relationship is created over time. Slow and steady wins the race. Ask for help. Seek wisdom from a mentor. And protection. Protect yourself from the negativity of others. All right, and we'll just check in with the positive affirmation. Positive affirmation for Libra. Positive affirmation for Libra. I am willing to change. I am willing to release old and negative beliefs. They are only thoughts that stand in my way. My new thoughts are positive and fulfilling. So I really hope that helped Libra. So if you'd like to like, subscribe and hit that bell button if you want to get informed of any new videos I post. I'd just like to say thank you very much. Uh, I love you all and bye for now.